Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the most powerful and most versatile power station you've ever heard of. It's called Monster. It's made by a company called All Power. And this station has so many things going on for it. But the short answer is you can have AC, DC, USB A, USB C, wireless, as well as even car adapter options out of this over 100,000 milliamp power bank. This is TK. Let's check it out. This is Monster. It is by far a, the biggest power bank you can ever consider. It's really a, considered to be a power station. And the reason behind that is it's just the versatility that it has. Now we have two lights here. I'm gonna actually just turn one on here. I don't wanna kind of blind you guys. There's two of them there. You can use the power buttons here to turn them on and off. Uh, there's a power button as well as a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth option. The wireless is actually at the top. We'll get to that in a second. There's two fuses behind this little panel. We have DC power, AC power, and of course we have a little display here telling us A, how much battery we have, but not only that, as well as the ability to see how much wattage we're actually expanding and depending on how we're using it, as well as how much time we have left before we hit empty. And of course, last but not least is that percentage that we get in the bottom here telling us how much battery left we have. Now, I've gone through a full charge before. This is my second charge and I'm going through it and what I'm getting you here is basically we're down about 45%. And I'll shut this off for a second. Uh, both of these are controlled through here as well as through a Bluetooth uh, functionality through your smartphone. The two power outlets that we have here that you can basically connect a normal, basically even a laptop, uh, a monitor, a computer, basically something that you'd need to be able to use power out of here to charge for a certain amount of time when power is out. Now on the right side, we have multiple ports. We have a USB-C capable of charging a MacBook Pro, and I'll show that to you guys in a second. Uh, so this is definitely a high power USB-C. And we have three USB-A's that share basically up to 15 watts of power to be able to give you fast wireless, well, wire charging here. And of course we have DC output. Now on the left side, we have the input part. Uh, we have the one socket input here for the power brick that they include in the package. Now I did not receive a full package. This is a reviewer's package, so pre-production. So keep in mind, yours will look different. You may even get additional cables. But for me, this is all I got with this one and that's all I need. And of course we can use just your normal car adapter and of course the additional vents here for the ventilation on the system. On the bottom, we have four rubber feet just to basically make sure that it's stationed correctly and of course at the top we have the wireless charger now on the site they claim basically the ability of charging up to nine things at the same time and my assumption would be obviously is one with the cigarette leather adapter here we have two three and those are the two options that we have here four up there five six seven eight and then of course uh, dc output now i don't have anything that uses dc output at the same time but i was able to test out that it is able to go at least eight in my current configuration so i was able to use all four of those ports the two on the front the one on the top and the cigarette light adapter and I was able to basically get up to eight devices running at the same time. Now the app connects to the actual unit via Bluetooth. Once you turn on the power here, that little button, it accesses and you'll be able to connect to it via Bluetooth. Uh, it tells you obviously the battery level that we have, power on, uh, basically what we're expanding if we are charging something. And you're also able to turn on the different functionality. So I can turn on the LEDs here and it does turn on both. Just kind of like show you guys right there. I'm just not kind of, I don't want to blind you guys again. Um, you are able to turn on the 12 volt as well as the USB uh, ports and of course the AC uh, power, which powers these two connections. Now to power these two, you just have to press and hold and give it a few seconds. And you can start hearing the fan kicking up, but by turning these, this on, you actually enabled both of these ports and you can just plug in your plugin. And this is right now obviously rated to be used in the US. Uh, now I would probably guess that this will also work in China, mostly because of the way the prongs are set up, but this is a US model. So for all intents and purposes, this is gonna work for us fine. The main benefit of course, is that just we have the ability of controlling it. Uh, as far as settings, we just have product description, operation manual, if you need to be able to look into it. This is a six panel solar charger. So it's not as small as it looks because it's folded right now. So you have little carabiner uh, clips here on the right to be able to station it. But opening it once will give us access directly to the actual charger itself. You're able to use it in two different forms. You have there have the 18 volt output, which you could use that comes with one of the cables that they provide us. So you can use this cable, 18 volt output to be able to charge up your device, or you can actually use and basically two USB ports that we have connected here. And you're able to see basically the six panels. So you have three on each side, and they're obviously way too big for me to be able to fit in this frame. To charge it outside, it's pretty simple. You need to be able to basically station it in a position where it's expanded all the way. And of course, getting the best exposure to the sun. For me, this is gonna be it for now. And it's connected directly using the straight connector. I'm not using the two prong connector that I showed you in the video. And right there, you can use it. You should be able to see the green light there for the power. And of course, we have access to the two 2.4 USB ports there. Connect that straight into the monster power. And let's go ahead and put that in here. 
I hope you guys you guys see that uh, it's actually showing the little battery indicator going up and down and it's charging it I think it's about 44% I was able to gain about a percentage in about maybe the last six minutes of having it charged but other than that you're pretty much set you just have it leave it there and have it charged of course you don't want to leave this in the Sun all day long so my recommendation would be is just put it in a shaded position right there and let the Sun charge up your monster power station as far as power uh, input and output, this is basically a 40 watt system, six panels as far as what we have here, folded very nicely, but when opened up, we're able to generate up to 40 watts of power. That means on the USB ports, we can get two USB one, well, two USB ports that are running at five volts at 2.4 amps. So the maximum we can get from a USB port without going into like quick charging type of technology. As far as DC output, what we can get here to be able to charge up our all power, we're going at 18 volts at 2.3 amps maximum. And that's when the panels are all open in the clear day and you're able to get really good direct sunlight to this. If you're going to use this to charge up your, your phone, just be aware of two things. A, your smartphone is not intended to sit in the sun, so make sure that it's covered or it's under something that protects it from the heat. Because not only does the phone get warm when it's being charged, but you're also getting the exposure of the sun that's powering the solar panels. So, my recommendation would be is put this, let's say, on top of a camper or on the back of a backpack, somewhere where you can actually get really good sun exposure and put your phone away with the wire running away from the actual unit itself so you can get the best optimal charging as well be safe with your smartphone. So we're gonna go ahead and do a real quick test. Uh, here's using one of the power chargers cable connections that we have there. I'm gonna turn on the DC option. You're gonna see that there's gonna be a few seconds for it to kind of configure itself. So. Again, 2.17, 219 amps at 4.87 volt, and I'm connecting it right now to my iPad Pro. The battery on this is pretty depleted. I'm actually down to like 10%. So again, it's pretty decent, over two amps as far as the charging. Sorry, I didn't realize it wasn't in the frame. So here it is, about two, two amps on this, and I'll give it a second to focus. And again, you're just running it and it works great. I'm gonna keep this plugged in. I'm gonna put this on the side, and I'm gonna introduce Mr. USB-C because what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually charge up, or I'm gonna show you guys how this connects to my MacBook Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. Cable is connected. And we have the MacBook Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it on the side. So that's one of the really cool benefits of the new MacBook Pros or even the Airs. Um, they actually get power via USB-C and this is definitely powerful enough for it. So when we press and hold the power button for the AC, so we're running AC, wireless, as well as DC at this point. And so just to kind of stack things up on this, uh, since we already have this on, let's go ahead and put the wireless charger here. So that one's running on wireless. And just to kind of show you guys right there, we have 100%. Now, obviously my laptop is fully charged, but you can see the lightning uh, option there. And that just shows you that it's actually trying to provide power over to it. So one really, really cool benefit again is you can just basically daisy chain additional things to it to just turn things on. Um, so my laptop is charging, my phone is charging, my tablet is charging, and you can connect even two more things to it. Uh, next thing I'm gonna show you guys real quick is how I'm powering my monitor using it. There's no question that the Monster Power Station can provide a lot of power to up to nine different outputs at the same time, but even more than that with number of devices connected. I was able to have up to eight connections running directly at the same time because number nine, I was just didn't have a plug for it. Um, so overall, there's no question this is gonna be the best portable power station that you can get whenever you need power, when the power or normal power is not available. The accessory that they have for it, the solar panel, the 40 watt solar panel, I think it's really, really functional, not only just to recharge it, but it also keep making it into basically a, a regenerative power system. You don't have to plug it into the wall. You can just basically use the panels and charge it. Uh, make sure obviously that the unit itself stays shaded. You don't leave it in the sun, but I think it's really functional in that manner. Um, it's small, it's portable, it's very cool, and it works with many different devices. If you'd like to know more information about the Monster Power Station as well as the solar panel that I showed you guys, um, it's available through the link for the Indiegogo campaign that they have right now, and they're running for the next couple of weeks. And they have some perks as far as discounts for early, early backers and so on. So let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about the Monster Power Station? Have you seen things like this before? And what do you think as far as the price point versus the functionality and as far as just the portability of it? Uh, I mean, I know it's heavy and it's about the size of a basically a small battery for a car battery but this is very portable for what it does and for the fact that the solar panel folds out to be very very thin i think this is a really cool system let me know again in the comments below thank you very much for the support i'll see you guys in the next video